So Tiernan, we're here at Inver Park and you've just uh, taken a training session with the, the ladies ahead of their league decider on Wednesday night. So the first question to ask is, did you find them any easier to work with than the men? Yeah, a lot easier. Um, I think it's probably the first session that I've done that, I act that they actually listened. Um, they're, they were a, a, a fabulous bunch to work with, very enthusiastic, um, really, really keen and eager to learn, which always makes your job a bit easier when you're, when you're trying to get your, your points across. Mm -hmm. Without maybe releasing any trade secrets, what sort of things did you uh, coach the ladies tonight? Uh, we just looked at a little bit of structure uh, on and off the ball. We looked at their shape and a little bits and pieces of rules and responsibilities for for each player, pending the position that they play. Um, but to be honest, they were they were fairly well coached and they were fairly well briefed. So all I had to do was tweak little bits and pieces here and there. Mm -hmm. um, how much have or how much of an opportunity have you had to follow how the, the ladies team have been doing over the course of the summer? I, I have been following, I just unfortunately haven't got to see enough of the games yet. Um, I, I am hoping to, to try and get along to the final next next Wednesday night. Well, I'll definitely be getting along now that I've got to take some credit out of this in case they, in case they win. Um, but as I say, the, the, the biggest thing when, you, when you're working with the teams is how enthusiastic they are and how willing to learn they are. And they had that in an abundance tonight. Mm -hmm. And of course, as your role as uh, Lauren manager, how highly do you regard women's football in the sort of broader scheme of things? I think it's massive. Um, I think if you look at the game now in Northern Ireland, the women's game, it's getting it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, I think also it's 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 a massive part of this community. Um, and now that we're a, a very much a community club and we want to get as many people involved in it as we can, I think as much support needs to go into the, to the, the women's football as it does the men's. Um, and we get them to buy into what we're doing. Obviously, we're trying to encourage a big crowd to come down Denver Park. What would you say to any large supporters here, sort of thinking one way or the other? Well, I was very impressed. Um, I was very impressed with how they played. I was very impressed with with their work ethic, and as I say, I was very impressed with their enthusiasm. Um, it was actually a very enjoyable hour to to, to work with them. Um, I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into, um, but I, I'm I'm very glad I'd done it. Brilliant, Tiernan. Thanks very much. Thank you. Marion and Karina were here at Inver Park after your last training session before the, the big league decider on Wednesday. Uh, how are you feeling about the, the big match? Well, to be honest, I'm actually very confident. I think we've got this in the bag, definitely, especially the girls going forward. Definitely, we've worked very hard, so be a pity to come this far and that be it. Absolutely. One advantage we've got playing on this pitch too. Hope to have a big home crowd down and they'll be our 12th player and no doubt we'll put on a performance for them. Tiernan Lynch, the, the men's first team manager, came down and, and took a training session with you as well. How did you enjoy that? To be fair, it was absolutely super to have him down tonight, um, especially beforehand, he'd done visually, and then actually putting it into uh, practical was absolutely super. Working on a big pitch, I guess, too. It's good to have somebody who knows the pitch, who knows how the pitch works, has been working on it, you know, working with his own players. And if we can try and put that into the, the momentum that we have going already, it'll be, it'll be a no brainer. What sort of things did you take from what uh, Tiernan was trying to, to instill in you? It was more about kind of how we move forward as a unit together and how we should always uh, work together and form form positions, which was which was very beneficial. A lot of formation and working on triangles, quick football, and I think we have done that well this season when we've got going. And I think definitely with the big pitch, same as down at the cliff. You know, no teams even got near us down at the cliff all season, near enough, um, and it'll be the same in here. Big pitch, use the space, make the other team work sort of your team spirit over the course of the year and sort of how, how you seem to enjoy playing your football and playing together seems to have been a big thing. Is, is that something that can carry you through over these next two games? Look, it definitely is. There's a lot of, lot of big characters in the squad and Massive. a lot of banter <laughs> and a lot of carry on and that there and that definitely helps you. It pulls everybody together. There's a time to be serious and there's a time to be lighthearted and I think we've got the mix pretty spot yeah, on. we have definitely got the balance. Yeah. We really want a big crowd to come down to Inver Park this Wednesday. Uh, what would you say to try and encourage people to, to come down and watch? Just everybody local from Lauren or anybody around that likes football or whatever, just come down and support support the local girls. Look look at the stadium, look around you. Do you know it's an absolute pleasure to play here? And anyone will thoroughly enjoy sitting in that stand and watching the game. And given the last game we had against Chimney Corner and the way it went, there's no doubt it's going to be a very acceptable match to watch. So. Definitely. Brilliant, thanks very much and good luck for Wednesday. No Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.